when you are at Label Expo, you of course see a lot of SAMs, you see a lot of machines, you see a lot of people here, which is really cool. Uh, behind the scenes, so to speak, when we talk about the flow of how everything actually works together, is of course software. And uh, we're going to see something really interesting right now. It's a company from Denmark, uh, and it's a company called Label Hub, that, and the product is called Label Hub as well. And um, before we see a product demo and actually see the output on a printer, uh, we will talk to the founder and the CEO, uh, Peter. So Peter, welcome to Inc. here. Thank you very much. It must be so exciting for you to actually get out in the world and show your baby, right? Yes, that it is. Under Corona, we couldn't come out and uh, show anything. Of course, we have had a lot of uh, team meetings. Uh, but seeing everyone that we know already from the industry is fantastic. Yeah, and um, and uh, we we did a short interview uh, during the Corona virtually, yeah. right? And uh, now we are of course here in in person, which is totally great. Um, what I liked about the approach you had is basically you have a background in the label industry, so you know some of the bottlenecks that uh, converters actually uh, experience. So, uh, before we talk about the product, maybe talk a little bit about who you are and your background and how you got this uh, idea for Label Hub. Yeah, my name is uh, Peter um, and I've been in the industry for 25 years. Uh, I've been working in a company in Denmark uh, where I was the IT manager. Um, so I learned this very early stage. We didn't even have computers. We had some of the first uh, digital machines in Denmark. And then we found out uh, over the 20 years how important automation was. So I've been working with uh, graphic automation, so the pre-press automation, the MIS systems, and everything from the bottom up. And uh, then four years ago, I thought I would like to make a product in the cloud that everyone could just use. And the thing was, I have been trying all this for 25 years, and then I wanted to bring all that knowledge into one small product, and it is actually a small product, but it's very efficient, seen from our side. We're going to see uh, and, and, and learn more about the product in a yeah. moment, but, but what I liked about the story that you just told is that I think so many things in this industry is based on we, we learn, we listen, we define some needs, and maybe also find a niche, but you know, one of the things that also must have been in your mind when you started developing this is that the reason why easy ordering and reordering of in labels in this example is becoming yeah. a more, a, a more and more important is because with the digitalization, yes. smaller batches, faster turnaround time, uh, demand for having uh, the correct imposition, the re correct uh, color uh, space, everything needs to be the same to be, yeah. is that something yeah. you have experienced as well? Or? What we saw is that in the beginning, of course, we didn't have that many orders. And then over time, uh, when we went into digital, the amount of orders coming in, the amount of, uh, of labels, uh, that was increasing so much, but we didn't hire more staff. And, and the administration cost of a small order is the same as a big order. And this was a very, very big challenge for us in the beginning. And that's where we went in with all this automation. And I actually feel like uh, when I look at companies around, they are not all there with the automation yet. And, and what we try to do is a, a giving them a helping hand. Uh, and then if they expand even more, they, they can maybe go even more automation than we can do. Yeah. It's quite an amazing story, of course. And, and I mean, despite the corona, you have been able to get your... I mean, I see Label Hub named quite a few places. Uh, you've been good at, do, at getting around, right? Yeah, we actually, we started out with no marketing at all. That we, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> we started out with uh, real customers. So we went really early out to customers because we knew we could solve a problem. Um, and we had some very, very good uh, uh, ambassadors in Denmark, let's say like that. And, and when we started with them, we have been growing together. And they were okay with some small issues in the beginning. Um, and now, because uh, it's going really well, we are actually expanding uh, to the whole world. That is the plan right now, and we have in really uh, a lot of countries now. It's funny because uh, when you mention uh, that you use uh, printing companies in Denmark as, as you know, test kind of sites or beta sites or whatever, developer yeah. sites, um, can't help think about that. Uh, 
we both come from Denmark. We know yeah. that labor cost is extremely high. And, and what, you're do, what you're doing here is basically making uh, the workflow and the reordering and the precision, all those things simpler and basically saving a lot of resources doing it. Because as you mentioned, if you have smaller batches, you still need to have more and more people involved yeah. in it. So uh, that actually gives a very high ROI for, for, for printing companies, especially in high cost labor uh, countries. So is that also part of the idea or? Yeah, what we have actually seen is that over Corona, uh, all the companies, uh, mostly we have seen in Denmark, but they are really growing but they didn't have to hire new people because they could have been, they, they have been using our system. So that's what we have seen helping. So the amount of uh, orders coming in is increasing, but they can still manage without running faster. We are using technology to help this. Um, and, uh, and I think it's great because your background is in IT, but in the label industry gives you both the domain knowledge of the label and the headaches they have, yeah. and at the same time you have an uh, understanding of what computers can do for you, right? Yeah, what I actually have seen from, I feel has been a very big benefit for us, is that when they even ask questions all the way out to the printing machine, I actually know what happens out there. Yeah. Uh, so I am not an IT guy in that sense. So I'm actually more a workflow guy and understanding the process all the way. I've built uh, MIS systems for the label industry. So I know from when the order is coming in and what happens when it comes out. So mostly I can, I can answer questions when something happens, which is not IT related. Yeah. And I feel that they trust me a little bit more in that sense. I think actually that is um, some of the same reasons why I think we have become a little bit popular is because, you know, when you have a domain knowledge, yes. it always gives a lot of trust because when you suggest something, right, or you talk about something and you at least know what you're talking about, then it gives a lot of leverage among the people you talk to. So now we are here at Label Expo. Is this, yes. the, is this the first time you have like a, such a big exhibition for a label up? Yes. Uh, we started out uh, Label Expo uh, in Europe four years ago, three and a half years ago. And actually, we were nearly only having a PowerPoint presentation at that time. But people uh, didn't know, right? No, but <laughs> that's how it is when you're a startup. Yeah. So, of course, they knew we know a lot about the industry, but we had a PowerPoint presentation. At least. With, with some small uh, features that were working, but we had a lot of interest. And I actually met uh, Charlie from Screen, which we'll maybe see later today. He, um, he, he saw the system and he really liked it. But you can ask him later on. I will. Uh, yeah. yeah, and yeah. that's actually uh, how, how we, we, we are landing here at the Screen booth. Uh, that's fantastic. And I mean, it's a fantastic booth. So, I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's great because even though there's a lot, a lot of noise outside, because they have its walls, it's, it's like yeah. still you can talk, right? Yeah. But Peter, let's uh, take a look at uh, what is Label Hub, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, let's see here. It's a touch screen. It's sometimes a little bit slow with the internet. A little internet. touchy from time to time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but, but, but here we have a, a very short overview of Label Hub where you have label hop in the center. So you still have the PowerPoint presentations, right? Yeah, this one is a PowerPoint yeah, presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Uh, we have an internal uh, side of the system. We have an external side of the system where the internal side of the system is pre-press automation and it is some pre-flighting and stepping and repeating. We'll go into that afterwards. And then we have a customer web portal. So this is uh, the main features of the system. And just before you move on, uh, I think you told me when we spoke yesterday that what you thought would be the most important part of Label Hub changed a little bit. Uh, yeah. Real yeah. life is sometimes a bitch, right? Yes. <laughs> when I actually started this company, I was mostly focusing on the customer web portal because I thought in the industry, we needed to be uh, online uh, and people should order that way. We must say that this has gone a little bit slow. And then it was all the, all the time, it was the plan to have uh, graphic automation as well. So we have seen this has been our biggest success to start with. So we actually, when we implement customers, we start internally. When they are comfortable with that and they change their mindset and work in another way, then we add on the web portal afterwards. So what you say is basically that when you use the internal usage of Label Hub, it actually feeds uh, the understanding of the need of the external. Yes, so it has been a, a slower process than we planned, 
actually, in this sense, Corona has helped us a little bit. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah. automation, it's difficult to get labor, yes. people working remotely, uh, maybe even a, a shortage on, on everything yes. makes it more like needed to have something that is efficient, right? Exactly. Okay, great. So if we go from here into the system, we will go into the internal part here. So this is what people see when they open Label Hub. Yes. And just to be sure, it's everything is like web-based. You don't have to install anything, right? No. Yeah. It is cloud-based. Uh, it's a SaaS system, and we cannot make it on-premise. We have, of course, people uh, asking for that. We only make it in the cloud. And when you log in as a manufacturer, you will see all your labels in the system. So it's very basically, you can see different labels. Uh, what we have tried to do is a very, very easy interface because we have seen other systems where it makes it a little bit too complicated. And that's what we try to, to, to bring down the, the complication. We think it should be as easy as using an iPhone. Yeah. And then I hope people think it's easy to use an iPhone. But <laughs> so very easily you have an overview, you have an overview of, uh, of your labels. And then you have over here on the right side, you have uh, basic information on each label. Um, and you can even see how the label is actually being uh, delivered uh, to the end customer. And that is, of course, important, so you're sure that, that it has the, the, the right uh, orientation on the yes. label and the right sequence if it's a variable data to make sure that everything works in, uh, when it needs to be used for the final product. Yeah. Yeah. So showing this uh, is, of course, simple, but we have all tried to explain this over the phone, and it's just more simple to, 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 to show it vis visible. Then we have, uh, so this is an overview of all the labels. Then we have what we call the artwork list. Uh, this is where you, you get this uh, pre-flighting uh, automation. Um, so you can actually drag and drop a PDF file in here. It will automatically scan the file, <coughs> pre-flight it, check for different things, uh, and when it's print ready, mm -hmm. it will just tell you that. So internally, when, you, when, when a customer service get an email, they can actually just drag and drop the PDF in here and get an answer in 30 seconds. Where they are used to normally, they get the PDF file, they send it to external prepress or internal prepress, and when it comes back after five minutes or five hours, depending on five how, days. or five days, then they get an answer. Hmm. So I really uh, think so, this so is... So just the fact that yeah. basically uh, everybody in an organization can easily handle files, that is like a yes. huge advantage, right? Yes. Yeah. So normally you, this is just examples, you maybe have 10 people in uh, internal sales and then you have two in pre-press. So who's going to be the bottleneck here? Uh, and now you have 10 people that can drag and drop a file in here and when you release it, it will run into the engine, it will process it, um, and it already is connected together. See that already, yeah. 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 You are automatically connected to uh, their existing MIS system. So we get information from there, and now you see, oh, it's print ready. So these were the 30 seconds I meant. So now you know you're ready. So just to understand that, because that is a file, but what about... Uh, all the data about your substrates, uh, the, the, the orientation on uh, your show before, I mean, yes. that needs to be ended somehow, right? That is coming, all the data here is coming directly from the MIS system. So this is because when you, when you have a file, it, it can identify it against uh, an already system. existing order that you have in an MIS system. Yes, exactly. And it, does that require a specific MIS system or do you integrate to many different systems? Or? Yeah, that is one of the advantages with Label Hub is we can connect to all kinds of MIS systems. So of course we have some we are partnered with, for example, CERM, um, where we already have a connection that works. And it's pretty easy to make these connections nowadays. In the old days it was hard, but now because it's the newest technology, and then even though they have older systems, we can still connect. So, but that is our problem. We will solve that for our customers. Really smart, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, oh, so just make it short. You get an email from a customer. Yes. You drag the file directly into Label Hub. Yes. It looks down the database on the MIS system, make a match from uh, that file. Yes. Find the order details and practically ready to go, right? Yes. Normally, this would go directly and do a step and repeat. Yeah. 
here I wanted to show it, so that's why I pressed it. Okay, so basically this, you could script it to say that do whatever you need to do. When it's ready, all our customers, when it's ready, it goes directly and being delivered to the machine. Yeah. We'll show you afterwards that we can actually send it from here and to the screen machine we have here on the stand. Nice. So, in 30 seconds, depending on uh, internet and so on, this will be printed ready. You take your full disclaimer, right? Because we're on a, sh a show floor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know that's how we do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it is actually Wi-Fi. But it's ready now. Okay. It's so still that was faster fast. than you could have done it in Illustrator. Uh, I assume. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're right. Yeah. You're yeah. right. So now it's actually ready on uh, the press. We will. Okay. So it's already now with a step and repeat push to the press. Yes. Okay. It is. So this is how we set up our our different uh, customers. That is to send it directly here. You still have a copy in Label Hub. You can download it here. We always have back up of uh, people's stuff, but we send it out to their machines so they don't have to worry about this. And is that uh, because you uh, integrate directly on a machine and, and uh, fire, uh, uh, DFE level uh, with the machines as well? Or? No, okay. we actually do not do that today. We, we deliver uh, only the file. Okay. But we are working with companies, for example, Screen, where we can, we can send the order uh, directly in here. But it depends on what MIS system people have. <coughs> okay, understand. Yeah. Super smart. Yeah, I think it's, uh, our customers like it. So we must have done something right. Yeah, that's uh, cool. And often a uh, problem people have is to make what we call advanced stepping and repeating. So with different labels across. Yeah. And, and this we can actually show here as well. Um, so basically, if you want to put like three different designs side by side because you want to have a slither, so you basically make three rolls with different uh, designs? Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. So you utilize the full width of your label press? Yeah. So if you wanted a, a thousand of each of these labels, you could, of course, print three across with this one, but then you have to finish them afterwards. Here you can just go on this one, say advanced stepping and repeating, and then you can select only the labels that is allowed to be printed together. So because it already they're based on substrates, based on uh, whatever yeah, adhesives varnish, and uh, everything yeah, yeah, yeah. and direction. And then you just select them, and then you put them in and say demo, and you send it right now because we're on a booth. Yeah. This will send an email to my iPhone, and, yeah. and in 30 seconds or yeah. one minute, yeah. I can show you it's on my iPhone, yeah. and it's already on the machine as well. Fantastic. So, so is it is it now we're going to see more here, or should we see how it goes to the machine? I would like to show you one more thing here, okay. and then we can go to the machine. Yeah. So now we know this one is sent to the machine, yeah. and we can see that afterwards. Yeah. I wanted just to show you that we also have this customer web portal. Of course. Yeah. The so, next step. Yeah. yeah. So right now we see everything as a manufacturer, but if you have a customer, let's call it Screen Americas. They get, we, they get a lot of invoices after this show, right? Yeah, yeah. sure, sure. <laughs> no, but if you sit as an uh, internal salesperson and the customer is calling you, I'm sitting in Label Hub, I see these labels, then they can just press the name uh, of the company and the system now changes around and now so you now only see external. what the customer sees. So maybe the most of you have tried to use uh, LinkedIn. So now up here, you see it as, uh, as the customer. Yeah. So this is uh, how they do it. Yeah. And you can only see your labels. And now you can't see stepping and repeating and all that stuff. Yeah, because that's production related, that of course. That is production related. But you can still see the same information, yeah. only in the material name you're allowed to see. Yeah. And you can see how you get it delivered. Yeah. And you can actually order from here okay. if you want to. Yeah. I don't want to go into showing that. But this is how you order, yeah. and this can be connected directly to your MIS. And that system. is when I spoke to you the first time. That was what I got really impressed about, because basically, uh, I, I first thought it was like for ordering labels. And you said basically, when you order the first time you order a label, it, there is a process because you need yes. to be sure that it's the right adhesive, it's the right material, it has the right layers, it has the right of everything, right? But the moment that you have made that label. There's no need for doing it again because exactly. you have all the data, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is basically what you said to me maybe one and a half year ago is actually what we see here is just coming through, right? Yes. Yeah. That must be nice. I really like it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we should call for Charlie now. I and think just, so, yeah. Uh, because he wants to talk about how he got to know Label Hub. Yeah. And then we're going to see 
a screen press actually printing the label. Yes, because and I think from maybe, here we send it over yeah, there. Yeah. I think that maybe just for a small disclaimer, we are at screen booth, but you're not associated with screen. That right? is correct. Yeah. That is so correct. you work with, you're Venn diagnostic. You can yes. work with we any. We work with everyone, but uh, Charlie was so nice to invite us here, which we are very, very uh, honored about. Yeah. And, uh, and we have a very good relationship together with them. Fantastic. Let's yeah. see if we can find him. As uh, you may have heard uh, just before, I spoke to Peter from Label Hub, and uh, maybe you're wondering why we are at um, uh, Screens booth here at Label Expo in uh, Chicago. But Charlie, you actually discovered uh, Label Hub some yes. years ago, but why are they on your booth? Well, we feel that they offer a key technology that, that lowers the, en the entry level and really gives the power to uh, our, our customer's customer to bring products in and actually get Get, get orders in and help to uh, basically fill the press. Many times customers buy a digital press and they're curious, how am I going to fill the work? How am I going get, to get this done? So it's very help, helpful for customers to have tools uh, like, like La Label Hub and, uh, uh, and really be able to, you know, pave the way to our press and keep keep it busy keep 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 it profitable and uh, when you, I mean you obviously have a lot of knowledge about uh, converters in the, in the at least here in North America right yes. or maybe globally even uh, I was just wondering how 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 big is the bottleneck that this uh, piece of software actually uh, has um, uh, I mean I'm just trying to understand how big a bottleneck uh, this uh, software solves well I think what happens is that we all know that we've got supply chain issues but one thing that, that predates the pandemic is, work, is workforce. Yeah. And so this really offers a level of automation, but it takes the automation, not just within the, the printing company itself, but out to the customer, mm -hmm. so that I can actually streamline the work coming in from the customer, uh, in, in, into the printing facilities, in, in this case, imposed, and to the press to drive the, to drive the work. So it, it, it really offers many levels of automation that are key to our cu customer's business and business continuity. Fantastic. And now we've seen some software. Should we see some hardware as well? Sounds great. Yeah. So do you also uh, know a lot about the, the hardware side? I know a little bit. I'm the product manager you, for the L350. I guess, 50, you, I guess 50, you should know, right? There you go. Okay, I so, better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it we see here? So what we've got here is we've got our L350 Cis, which is our, our uh, I would say, top of the line press here at the show. Uh, it is uh, basically it, the specifications. It's 6 by 600 DPI. but as we like to say, resolution is not always the only fact factor in determining quality, it's really the droplet size, our three peak, peak liter droplet size, which gives us a resolution far in excess of 1200 DPI and very comparable to all other plat, plat, platforms here. What we feel we've got is a level of quality, a level of public consistency, and uptime that is unmatched in the industry, 90 plus plus percent up, uptime that we will guarantee to our customers, and they see it all the time. So it's very, very effective in that regards. This press is CMYK orange and blue, so expanded yeah. gamut yeah. at 60 meters. Yeah. Uh, and then this is also has our uh, high speed white option at 50 meter white okay. uh, printing speed. Yeah. And what we've got here is we actually have the job that we saw over yeah. there. Yeah. Yes, so we so, actually impose on lab Label Hub, goes in essence direct out output from the, from the Label Hub system, a printable P PDF, hot folder input to our RIP, uh, Equius RIP and we'll see printing here uh, in just a moment. It's coming up right Before now. Before we talk about, see the, the output, I was just wondering because maybe I'm stupid. I, I, will, I will admit that, I, even on camera. But uh, when I look at, the, at the, uh, the, the true press here from screen, and you have the L350, I've seen that even with a customer in South Africa. Yes. Then you have UV, that makes sense. Yes. What is this, I mean, this is a new thing or? This is our third generation, the Psi S, yeah. which for us is, uh, is a, a Psi means colorful in Japanese. Oh, okay. so, so, so for us, this is our premier third generation. The L350 has been in existence for uh, close to nine years. Yeah. So, and this being our third generation, we, we wanted to differentiate itself. Okay. You know, from the first generation is L350 UV, yeah. Yeah. then we had UV Plus, yeah. and now we have the Psi S platform, uh, which we really feel is our premier tech, tech technology. So from, we, we usually kind of do a walk, a walk through, kind of unwind to uh, re, yeah. re, rewind, where what we're doing is unwind, we go through a splicing table, yeah. tech neck web cleaner, yeah. Corona unit, if if necessary, yeah. and then our BST that web That guide. depends on the substrate, right? Depends on the sub substrate to improve the ink adhesion. Yeah. Uh, some substrates, you know, will require that to improve yeah. uh, that. And then from here, we go to the actual print engine, yeah. 
And I think we're, yeah, we're actually. Okay, let's see that first. Maybe we can see the print engine afterwards. We're seeing the job printing, so I can slow it down for you a little bit. This is an inspection mode. Okay, yeah. So it allows an operator to take a look, see, yeah. okay, everything looks good. Yeah. No Jedi, and then and I can then go, go right, full speed. And I can go right back to full speed, 60 meters. And it's funny, you know, it's always like, I, I, I know it's not magic, but you see something on a computer screen and a few seconds after you see it on paper, right? Yeah, well, I think there's still that connection where I can see, I, I can see it print and yeah. there's, uh, there, there's still, I've been a printer for over 30 years. Okay, so you, came, been, so you have for, been also with a yes, dirty hands. I worked, yes, yeah. exactly. I was yeah. a printing printer for 30 years before I came to screen. So there's still kind of that magic of like, you see it in the flesh, yeah. you, 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 you know, you see it live. When you worked as a printer, were you like uh, in label printing or? Or was it diverse? Uh, uh, it's diverse. Yeah, I, yeah. I started back before uh, before Adobe Illustrator. I actually started with uh, with uh, you know the first rip, the first Adobe rips in the late '80s, and all the way through sheet fed web, flexo, dry offset, wide format, uh, transactional. I've kind of uh, gone all over the place and uh, found a very good home at Screen about five years ago. Okay. So very happy with uh, getting able to go out and work with customers and help help them run their business better, optimize their digital assets, and really get the most out of it. But it's definitely a passion of mine that uh, very, very I, I, I feel your passion, so that's great. I would say we have we're done some uh, nice uh, uh, interviews with screen people, and I always think that a screen has actually become like a extremely uh, well-recognized and used brand in, in, in all the segments because you have both the commercial print, uh, the label print, uh, also yes. the flexible packaging. And yes, we have flexible coming with our Pack A30, which yeah. is a flexible packaging press yeah. that's coming. I'm the product manager for that as well. In the, So you know about that as well? Yes, yeah. I know yeah. quite a bit about that, yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 Actually, we've got that coming. We're looking for early adopters right now in yeah. the United States. Yeah. Uh, so uh, very excited about that product for, from what we've seen so far. Uh, phenomenal machine. I was in Japan in July and was uh, it was v extremely impressed. You know, you know, to see the, at the development stage. It's that, at, that is in the Kyoto area, right? That's in the uh, yes, in yeah. Kyoto, which is kind of the Silicon Valley of yeah. of, of Japan and one of our Kyoto factories. But it, I spoke it's to one. Uh, I spoke to Joe. You know Joe? Oh, oh yeah, Oskasan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, so exactly. I, I interviewed yes. him in uh, Kyoto uh, just before yes. the Corona. That was nice. Yeah. So now we've seen the job. Can we see this inside of the machine? Sure, just we can see the, in, so yeah. the secret in, in, yeah. inside of the press. We need so to see the secrets, right? So you know that it's real, right? <laughs> it is real, Chica. Here we go. <laughs> so what we've got here is that as we come from the web guide, yeah. we come in. We have three zones for nip for nip roller controls. So we have an un unwind zone, a print zone, and then also re rewind zone. So we can control tension very accurately and be able to get our material ni nice and flat in the print zone so that we're able to maintain that throughout the press. What we basically have is anti-static bars. We look through, I won't take, take you through, we do have the, you know, the wonderful web, web guide here, but we print, we've got an open slot for, uh, in essence, for expansion. We're actually doing a lot of testing with uh, jettable primers. Oh, so we can actually okay. for wine, wine labels. Uh, oh, so we can, nice. Because a lot of times with UV ink, ink jet, the ink is not supposed to absorb, but it does with yeah. very porous stocks. Yeah. So we're okay. So you can basically right prime to ensure that prime. you always have like a you jet only where you put ink. Precisely. So, so it's very yeah, yeah. very nice effect. Seen I've seen some of that in the in the labs. Looks very good. We have uh, white print heads, LED uh, curing, uh, orange blue, and then CMYK process. Yeah. Then then we LED pin. Come come back down. We have dual UV here uh, for uh, enhanced adhesion. And because you uh, chill roller. And take also when you double the UV, uh, you can basically increase the speed because you don't have to energize as much as uh, otherwise. Exactly, yeah, that, yeah. that's how we're able to print uh, the opaque white. Uh, our opacity is uh, is 72%, uh, you know, and uh, we have a new opaque white feature that we just released that take, takes us up to 78. Okay. Uh, and again, that's still with the same print, print head just more droplets, yeah. in essence. I was just thinking that uh, when you see a machine like this, how is it, uh, I mean, I saw the user interface from the uh, operation menu, it seems uh, pretty straightforward. How is it with user maintenance of the machine, or is it always service people you need to have here, or? No, I mean, it's actually in in interesting, because many of our customers will call and ask, it's like, will we ever see a, ser a, a, a service tech? Uh, like I said, we have 90% uptime. So what's happening here is that the operator does about a 15 minute startup setup in the morning, they're good to go as far as, and that's running automated cleaning pro programs, never touching the heads. Uh, there's actually a wiper system in the capping station that wipes the heads automatically. And, and you're, if you're doing that maintenance, you're good to go for the day. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, to be honest, I mean, you know, that, you know, the press is, is very well built, very well in, engineered. We've been doing this for a very long time. Few companies have the depth and, 
ink, inked at the screen as the company does, as well as a number I mean, of units. We've got I mean, over if, 220 worldwide, so I mean, if, we know what we're and doing. And if I've 20 past 1,000, right, or something like that, yeah, right? Five, 520s are about 15 to 1,600. No, okay, yes, okay. Yeah, it's just amazing, field. isn't it? I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, gone, it's gone fast. We have actually one of the original 520s in the United States. It's almost 20 years old, uh, uh, up in a company in Wisconsin. Uh, they, they, they're still running it. So, uh, I mean, we, we deliver product to the market. We support it. We don't walk walk away from it. We're here for the long haul. Uh, you, know, you know, so we're, you know, I mean, and, and Screen as a company, we're, I mean, pe people see us in this market as graphic arts, but we're part of a Screen Holding, which is a- Oh yeah, a you have so many things four, to do, yeah. Four billion dollar global yeah. company, yeah. semiconductor, flat panel, you know, many different uh, subsidiaries. So we're really, really a very strong company in that regard. And we're very, methodical and inconsistent. When we bring a product to market, it's ready to go. There really is no beta cycle. We've already done that. So we bring products to market to run and, to, and so you rely upon it in your business. And you are the best ambassador I've met for a long time. So uh, excellent. Well, thank you very I much. I appreciate the opportunity. It's great. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm.